Welcome to the first in a series of videos focusing on the key skills required to achieve the top grades in GCSE, grades 7 to 9. This video focuses on solving the equation of a circle and line simultaneously. There are also extension questions at the end. Right, so in any problem solving question such as this, I always recommend the following approach. Firstly, read the question carefully. Jot some notes as you go of any ideas that spring to mind and draw a diagram to aid understanding. Then develop a strategy to solve the question quickly. So just reading this quickly. The line y equals x minus 2 intersects the circle x squared plus y squared equals 20 at two points a and b. So as soon as I see this trigger word intersects, what I'm going to do is I'm going to think to myself, automatically, I'm going to solve these simultaneously. So I'm going to write down a quick note to myself, solve simultaneously. And this is going to give me the points of intersection, A and B. The next part says, find the exact length of the chord AB. So this chord AB is going to be a line segment. So we need to find the length of the line segment. And for this, we're going to need Pythagoras' theorem. It says the exact length of the chord. So this suggests a third answer. And then writing your answer in its simplest form also suggests a third answer. So we might need some simplification. Right. So let's go to it. So just drawing some axes. So we've got the, the circle x squared plus y squared equals 20. This is a circle that's centered at 0, 0,0 with a radius that is the square root of 20. So here's our circle. So this is of the form x squared plus y squared equals r squared. r squared equals 20. That means r equals the square root of 20, which is root 4, root 5, which is 2 root 5. The actual numerical value is going to be between um, 4 and 5, so between 16 and 25 for the r squared. And that's just, just handy to know. So I'm just going to put in these values. So this is 2 root 5 minus 2 root 5 minus 2 root 5 and 2 root 5. We've then got the line y equals x minus 2. So that has a negative y intercept, which is between 0 and minus 2 root 5. So it has a positive gradient of 1. So I'm going to put that in, draw that in there. And these will be my values of points A and B. Right. So we want to find the exact length of that chord. So first of all, we need to solve the equation simultaneously. So that's the line y equals x minus 2 with x squared plus y squared equals 20. Now for this, I'm going to use the method of substitution. I'm going to substitute y equals x minus 2. So I'm going to substitute for y in the equation x squared plus y squared equals 20. As I, always, I already have y in terms of x. So let's substitute that. So 
I'm going to rewrite the circle equation as follows. So instead of y, I'm going to write here x minus 2. And I'm, whenever I substitute, I'm going to use brackets. So that is instead of y squared. And that equals 20. Then expand this and simplify the left-hand side. And rearrange and simplify at the same time. So x squared plus x squared gives me 2x squared minus 4x. Then 4 minus 20 is going to give me minus 16 equals 0. All of the coefficients and the constant term are even. So I can divide the whole thing by 2. Giving me a nice quadratic to solve x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0, which will factorise nicely. So two numbers that multiply together to give me minus 8, but add to give me minus 2, are x minus 4 and x plus 2. Just double check. Minus 4 times 2 is minus 8. Minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. That's perfect. Right, so this is going to give me two solutions, either x equals 4 or x equals minus 2. Now, the corresponding y values that we're going to get are going to be 2 less than the x values. So y equals 2 and y equals minus 4. Let's look at our sketch and see if this makes sense. I've got one point here that has got x equals 4, y equals 2. Well, this would be then b, 4, 2, and that works quite nicely. And point a, x equals minus 2 and y equals minus 4. So both negative, so that's perfect as well. So let's squeeze that in. is minus 2 comma minus 4. Perfect. So we've now got the line segment in place. So I've solved simultaneously. I now need to work out the length of the line segment. So I've got a line. Let's draw this is AB. A is at minus 2 comma minus 4. B is at 4 comma 2. To work out the length of the line segment, we need to use Pythagoras' theorem. We'll call this length C. This is our hypotenuse. Now the distance, the base length here is going from minus 2 on the X to 4 on the X. So this is 6. The height is going from minus 4 to 2. So again, that's also 6. So using Pythagoras' theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse. So substituting the values in, 6 squared plus 6 squared equals c squared. 36 plus 36 equals c squared. So c squared equals 72. c equals the square root of 72, which equals 6 root 2. OK, I'll just do the full simplification just to make that clearer. Root 72 is root 36 root 2. And root 36 gives me. 6 root 2. So that's my answer in its simplest form. So exact length of chord AB is 6 
root 2. That's the final answer. Right, so the extension question is, hence calculate the angle subtended by the chord AB at the centre of the circle. So I'm drawing a new diagram for this. Here's point A and here's point B. We established that the two radii are root 20, which I've just drawn into the centre of the circle. That is the centre at the origin. The two radii are root 20. And the chord length was 6 root 2. So what I need to do is calculate the angle subtended by the chord at the centre of the circle. So this is the angle we're looking for. That's the angle subtended by the chord at the centre of the circle. And for this, we have three sides of the triangle. So we're going to use the cosine rule in reverse to calculate the angle there. I'll call that missing angle theta and then write out the cosine rule. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Now, whenever we're using the cosine rule, the side length A, little a, has to be opposite the angle big A. So these two are linked. These two are opposite each other. So in my diagram, the capital A is replaced with theta and the little a is 6 root 2. So I need to make sure I use these the correct way around, otherwise the cosine rule won't work. So substituting correctly into the formula, my, my little a here is 6 root 2, all squared, equals root 20. Now it doesn't matter which one's b or c, root 20 squared plus root 20 squared minus 2 times root 20 times root 20 times the cosine of theta. So expanding all of these, 6 root 2 all squared is 72, root 20 squared is 20, root 20 squared is 20 minus 2 times root 20 times root 20. Well, root 20 times root 20 is 20. 2 times that is 40 cos theta. So 20 plus 20 is 40. So take that away from 72 is 32 minus 40 cos theta. So rearranging cos theta equals 32 divided by 40, which is negative. So minus 32 over 40. And that is simplifies to four fifths. So theta equals inverse cosine of minus four fifths, which is 143 degrees to three sig fig. And this is the second part of the extension question. So if P is a point on the circumference of the circle, what is the acute angle APB? And give a reason for your answer. So I've got a, a slightly modified diagram from earlier on. So we've got A and B. I've taken out the chord just for simplicity of use. I've got 143 degrees. That's the angle at the center. And I've just put the point P on. I've also then identified where is the angle APB 
by drawing these two chords in, the line from A to P and the line from B to P. So this is the value, we'll call it angle alpha. So we don't know what alpha is. And here we're going to use one of the circle theorems. Alpha equals 143 degrees divided by 2, which is 71.5 degrees. And the reason being given is that the angle at the center is twice that at the circumference. And that's the end of the question. So here's a challenge question for you. The line y equals x plus 1 intersects a circle x squared plus y squared equals 25 at two points a and b. Find the exact length of the chord ab and write your answer in its simplest form. Uh, please give me a message uh, with your answers. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more, then subscribe below. Thanks a lot.